Hello, hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, Cecilia. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Very good to hear good you. Evening. Good evening, Cecilia Rodriguez. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, girls. Now, everybody, welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to... Well, I don't see you guys. No nos veo, pero I know that you are there. Second time I hear, right? So it's a pleasure to see you in class. So let's get started. Let's not waste more time. I hope you're safe and sound. Espero que todos estén sanos y salvos, ¿verdad? Sanos y funcionando, everybody. Funcionando, excellent. All right? Porque ahora está terrible, everything. <laughs> All right. What do you do, guys? Beginners to class seven. Let's get started. Do you remember? We have these basic questions that we always have. Mention at least three places that you learned last class. Tres lugares que ustedes aprendieron la clase pasada. Si ¿Sí recuerdan que teníamos los jobs, que son las profesiones o los trabajos de las personas, right? Y después de eso les puse un cuadrito amarillo que decía places. Entonces, ¿quién me puede dar three places? ¿Quién me puede dar tres lugares? Ma Mayra Esperanza Romero, please. A ver, era uno, era en, en the hospital, si no me equivoco. ¿Verdad? En, in the office, in a store. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Another three, otros tres lugares que me puedan brindar, guys. Aún si tal vez ustedes investigaron otro, también pueden decírmelo, right? Y si no, de los mismos que ya tenemos. Lo que quiero saber es si no se nos ha olvidado, uno, la pronunciation, y dos, el vocabulary. Ajá, let me check, Beatriz Campos. Eh, in the hospital, in the hotel, in the a store in a store excellent very good thank you beatriz and let's go with cecilia rodriguez in a, in a bank uh -huh. eh, in a hotel in a store excellent very good y también in everyone school. pueden agregar in a school all right in a school in a house porque inclusive hay personas que trabajan en su hogar all right in a house um, o en hogares de otras personas, cleaning, haciendo limpieza, or something else. So, all of those are jobs. So, esos son eh, los places que tenemos. Mention at least three activities that you recall. Ahora, a la par de esos cuadritos de los places, teníamos las activities. Necesito a otras personas que también practique, que participen y practiquen aquí, right? Three activities that you recall. Volunteers. Tres actividades que ustedes recuerden. Ajá, excelente, Marvin. Uh, to uh, talk to people. Talk to people, ajá. Uh, Bright ticket. Bright tickets, right tickets. Work, uh, works at night. That's correct, sir. Excellent, thank you. Another volunteer, otro voluntario. Ajá, uh -huh. let me check. A esta hora ya toman su café, so I need you to volunteer yourself. Ya necesito que se voluntarien ustedes, all right? Ajá, uh -huh. I'm waiting. Espero. All right, no, let me go. I'm gonna let excellent. Cecilia Rodriguez, please. Uh, sit all days, mm -hmm. wear uniform. Stands all days. That's correct. Excellent. And Kimberly Elena, can you tell me another three activities? Uh, words, uh, 
adults to people and sit all day. That's right. Excellent. Thank you. Rene Portilla, please. Hello, Rene. You have your hand. Hola. Hola, Rene. Hola, hola. Tienen la mano levantada. Eh, so, me que quiere participar, right? Excellent. Work, 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 work at night. Works. Talk at to night. people and work, work hard. Excellent, sir. Very good job. Now you see it, guys. You have it on your notebooks. Yo sé que la mayoría lo copió y lo tienen en el cuaderno, right? So, no excuses. Excellent. Así me gusta. Que tengan esos notes, pues para que siempre lo recuerden. Eh, Haciendo aquí una valoración extra del contenido, right? Este es vocabulary que ustedes lo pueden ver a diario. Al tener contacto literal con el idioma, van a ver que este vocabulary, it's something that you really need. Es algo que en serio necesita. So, simple present WH questions. Ayer no todos lograron participar. Creo que solo una pareja tuve. All right, and this participation. So, let's move on. Let's check. Ahora vamos a tener a más parejas. Because we got the time. Solo recordarles, esta semana tenemos que trabajar toda la section 3. All right. Ya ahora es probable que finalicemos la section. Ya mañana hacemos el midterm exam. Solo para que no estén preocupados, all right? De que ya, ya viene jueves y todavía no hemos hecho el midterm exam. No se preocupen, lo vamos a hacer mañana. All right. Claro está, si ustedes pueden adelantar haciéndolo, you're welcome to, right? Es perfecto que hagan eso. Y si no, pues esperan hasta el momento de la clase y lo hacemos juntos. So let's check. Where does your brother work? Yo estoy haciendo ahorita la conversation, solo para recordarles la pronunciation. In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. Recordemos, no es agente o agent, es agent. Agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting, all right? No interesting, no. Interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, my friends, it's your turn. Let's get into the business. Let me have... Emma Rodriguez, you are Rachel. Cecilia Romero, you are Angela. Action. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's to bed. That's hotel. Does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works then too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. That's correct. Oh, okay. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> funny, right? It was funny, Emma. Excellent, you guys. Very good. I don't have any complaint about pronunciation. Ahorita no tengo ningún, no puedo notar ningún error. All right? You're doing great. Let's go with Mayrene Fuentes. You are Rachel. Alexis Hurtado, you are Angela. Action. Sorry, teacher. I don't listen. Ah, uh, you are Rachel. Usted es Rachel. No sé Rachel. si me... Rachel, yes. Sí, sí. Where does your brother work? In the area. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel. So he's a front desk agent? How does he, he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. Yes, too bad. What are you does he work for? 
the class. That's funny. My brother works in the school. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actuality. He's the manager. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, guys. My Irene, repeat after me. Interesting. ¿Cómo? Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Let me check. Um, ¿Cómo puede sonar la palabra interesting? Así, miren. Interesting. Así. Así suena la palabra. Obviamente, gramaticalmente, eso no está correcto, pero así suena. All right. Interesting. This is for everyone. Esto es para todos porque a todos nos cuesta en un momento. Right. Interesting. Vamos a decirlo así. Interesting. And Alexis, repeat after me. Actually. Actually. Excellent. That's correct, sir. Very good. Okay. That's it. Let me go with Nestor Amilcar. You are Rachel. Usted va a ser Rachel. And Alexis Valmore, you are Angela. Action. Okay. Uh, where does your brother? What's, where does your brother work? Your microphone, Alexis. What does he like? You are Angela. Usted es Angela, Alex. Okay. In a hotel. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel to his uh, from this agent. How does he like? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. The, the plus? You're Angela, my friend. Usted es Angel. Okay. Perdón, perdón. No se preocupe. That's too bad. What hot, what, what hot hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's Eastering. What does he do? Actuality. Is the manager. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Very good. You're welcome, sir. All right, excellent. Let's do not forget the pronunciation of the words, right? So that we don't get meaning lost. Así no hacemos que se pierda el significado de las cosas. All right. The more you practice, the better you'll become. Entre más practiquen, más van a ir mejorando, right? Eso así es. En todo, right? Let's go with Juan Jose Pineda. You are Rachel. Leticia Iraeta, you are Angela. Action. Solamente una cuestión, teacher. Yes. No le he cambiado, no le he cambiado el nombre a, 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 al perfil. Lo tengo con el de mi hija. Soy Carla Abrego. Ah, ok. <laughs> Carlita, excelente. Carla Abrego. Bye. Okay, okay. Se me, se me ha ido a cambiarlo, pero ya, ya regresamos a la, a la realidad de la conversación. <laughs> Yo amo la verdad. Yes, you're Angela. Okay, okay. Where, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's from this agent. How does he like it? No, very much. He does like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plus. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What do you, what does he do? What? What does he do? Actually, he the manager. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you, guys. 
Excellent, yeah. right? I really appreciate that you practice during class hours. So it's excellent. Now, my friends, let's move on. Vamos a ver ahora. Lo mismo que vimos ayer. All right, no, just kidding. Vamos a ver más content. Pero esto sí quiero que quede un poco más claro, right? Simple present WH questions. Recuerdan ustedes las yes or no questions, all right? Siempre utilizamos el do o el does. La diferencia es que aquí vamos a agregarle una palabrita más. Le vamos a poner las WH words, all right? That's a staple. Eso no lo podemos mover. Recuerden, estas information questions son para que la persona hable un poco más, right? Nos brinde más información. Mayra, you are going to ask the first three, the first three questions. Usted hace las primeras tres preguntas. And Cecilia Romero, you answer. Usted responde. Okay. Where do you, where do you work? In a hospital. Where does he work? In a hotel. Where do the day work? In a restaurant. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Cecilia Rodríguez, you ask the, the other three questions. Usted pregunta estas otras tres. And Yesenia Vázquez, you answer. Usted contesta, Yesenia. Please. Okay. What do you do? Uh, what do you do like it? I'm a doctor, Yesenia. Ah, eh, bueno, me está preguntando what do you do? Ajá, what do you do? La tercera, ¿verdad? Yeah, la no, segunda. the second round. La segunda línea, la primera. Línea, ajá, ok. Ok, I am a doctor. What does he do? He's a manager. What do they do? They're waiters. Excellent, thank you. Now, let me go, Marvin, you asked. The last three questions. Usted pregunta las últimas tres. And Beatriz Campos, you answer. Usted contesta. Action. How do you like it? I really like, like it. How does he like it? It's okay. How do they like it? They had it. Exactly. They hate it. Very good. You guys, those are only examples. Estos son solo los ejemplos. Veamos la structure. Emma, please, read the structure. Nos lee la estructura, please. W -H mm -hmm. Word. Plus. Do or does plus subject plus complement plus mark question. Question mark. Uh -huh. And question mark. Excellent. Thank you, Emma. All right, guys. Then you have some examples. Luego tenemos otros dos ejemplos, right? Este es un plus de los ejemplos que ya vimos anteriormente. Raquel Santos, please read the examples. Nos lee los ejemplos. WH question structure. WH, oh, okay. Where does Maria work? What does he do? Exactly. Thank you, Raquelita. All right, guys, let's pay attention over here. Fijémonos. No nos salimos de la estructura, all right? Tenemos el WH word, que sería where y el what. Luego tenemos. Depende de nuestro subject, all right? Depende de nuestro subject, vamos a utilizar el do o el does. En este caso, María and he, María y él, ¿qué son? First or third person singular? Third person. Exactly, third person singular. Entonces, por eso hago uso del does. Work and do, and let me check. Well, the subject, como dice la estructura, sería María and he. Work and do son mi complement. All right? Así de simple. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora? No les he puesto las instructions, right? Nerio, do you have a question? Tiene una pregunta, Nerio. Yes, teacher. What se podría interpretar como la acción? Sí, de hecho es la acción. Solo que aquí la ponemos como complement, right? Pero es un verbo. Excellent. Very good. Ese es el verbo. Ahora vamos a hacer. No, yo decía. 
Perdón, yo decía eh, word, lo dice W es word. Ah, word. No, word es palabra. La palabra WH. Palabras con WH. All right. Es, ah, okay. sí. Eso es. Right. No es una acción, eh, son las palabras. Para hacer preguntas. Así se les conoce. Now, you guys, what are you going to do? Como ya saben, ¿cuáles son las WH words? Tenemos how, why, um, when, where, what, right? which. También tenemos cuál. Make use of them. Hagan uso de esas y creen two, two questions. Dos preguntas. Una en first person singular y la otra en third person singular. Ok, let's work. Finish, teacher. Excellent, very good, Emma. Let's wait. Vamos a esperar unos three minutes more, all right? Unos tres minutos más o cuatro para empezar a preguntar. All right, Emma, tell me your questions, please. Okay, what do you want to be in the future? Mm -hmm. Second question, second, sec, second sentence, where does she, where, where does she live? Uh -huh, where does she live? Very good, mm -hmm. Emma, excellent, clever, clever questions. Miren, yo no sé qué tenemos que decimos sentences, son questions, right? A mí también me pasa, Emma, don't worry. Le seguimos diciendo oraciones y son preguntas. All right, thank you. Um, those are clever questions, right? Son preguntas bien ingeniosas y bastante astutas porque las utilizamos toda la vida, right? It's the most common thing that we do. Let's go with Kimberly Elena, please. Okay. And one sentence. Where does Juan study? Uh, two sentences. What does, what does she do? 
Exactly, very good, Kimberly. Kimberly, if you want to use the positions, si quiero utilizar las posiciones, puede decir first sentence, second sentence. All right, si usted gusta. Okay, teacher. Thank you. you can make use of that. Pueden hacer uso de eso. All right, let me go with, do I have another participant? Tengo alguien más que ya finalizó. Ajá, Nerio, excelente. Tell me. Where do you breakfast and what does she like about the holiday? Very good, excellent. Solo que Nerio en la, pregunta, en la pregunta número uno puede poner, where do you have breakfast? Right, excellent, thank you. Let's go with Cecilia Romero and after Cecilia, Carla Abre. Okay, ahí me corrige porfi si me equivoco. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. where does Ernesto studies? Ajá. Solo sí. studies. Studies. Ajá, study. Ajá. Sí, Pero study. No necesita la IS, all right? Porque ya tiene sí. das. Ok. Eh, where do they work? Ajá. Exacto. Eh, what, what does she do at work? Ajá. Very good. Ok. Thank you. No mistakes, my friend. No hay ningún error, ni correction. Let's go with Carla Abrego. Okay, este, where do they play football? Uh -huh. Y second, eh, what does she in the park? What does she in the park? ¿Qué quiere poner ahí, Carlita? ¿Qué está haciendo ahí en el parque? Entonces tiene que decir, what does she do? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. What does she do in the park? The park. Excellent. Very good, Carla. Thank you. You guys, cuando quieran preguntar el que el haciendo o qué hace, all right, no se olviden de utilizarlo. No hay ningún problema si lo utilizan, all right. Sus auxiliares son muy apartes del hecho de que ustedes puedan tener el verbo do, all right. Pueden hacer uso de él. Actions, así. Cecilia Rodríguez. Okay. First sentence. What does your best friend in his free time. Uh -huh. Two sentences. What does he have to cell phone? ¿Qué quiere preguntar en la segunda? Ah, perdón. Why does uh -huh. he have to cell phone? Excellent. Very good, my friend. Very good. There you have it, Cecilia. Let me check another volunteer, otro participante, right? Este día es de mucha práctica para ustedes. Y voy a ser bien honesta. Este día es de mucha práctica para ustedes. Uno, porque ya tienen que estar trabajando en la plataforma, toda la sección. Y dos, también porque ya mañana hacemos el midterm exam. Y ya quiero que estén afilados, right? Let me check. Raquel Santos. Um, yo quería saber si se puede en esta pregunta el verbo que voy a utilizar. Where does she will go tomorrow? We'll go. We'll sí. go. Okay. We'll go. It's for future. Sí, sí. Okay. What What am I do right now? What? What am I do right now? Ajá. ¿Qué quiere decirme con eso? ¿Qué estoy haciendo ahorita? Sí. Uh, pero haciendo. sí se puede. Y es una reducción, ¿verdad? What am I do? Ajá. Sí. Pero ¿qué sucede con haciendo? All right. Es una acción en progresiva. All right. Estar el mundo progresivamente. For example, Miss Arevalo is watching the computer, right? Una acción que estoy haciendo progresivamente, right? Entonces, what do I do? Puede poner también. What do I do now? ¿Qué hago ahora? Ah, uh, ok. Ok, gracias. You're welcome, honey. Let me check. Mayra, esperanza. Why do they my, make pizza? Why do they make pizza? What do you do to be so happy? Where does she make the fuck? All right, excellent. Solo que en la primera es make. Con K, make. Make pizza. Make, mm -hmm. make pizza. Exactly. That's correct. Thank you. Do I have another participant?
Okay, Nestor, action. Uh, when does he get, wake up to work? Uh, when do you take a dinner? Mm -hmm. Where does she study English? Very good, Nestor. Excellent. Solo la segunda. No sé si dijo la A por, eh, porque la dijo, se le vino en, en la mente o la tiene escrita, pero no es necesaria esa a dinner. La right? tengo escrita, no es necesaria. No, you don't need it. Ok, thank you. Very good, excellent. Siempre le, no siempre les pregunto eso, pero sí a veces, acuérdenme preguntarles eso, right? Porque solo es que por nervios ponemos otra letra, right? Y quizás no la tenemos escrita. Ya me han dicho algunos alumnos así, no mis, pero no lo tengo así. All right, that's why I ask. Por eso les pregunto. Let's go with my Irene. Where does Julio cooking? What does she do running? Right. What does Julio cook? Cook. Exactly. What does she do running? What does she do running? Así corriendo, sí. Pero no ahí está en progreso. What does. ¿Qué hace corriendo? Quiere preguntar usted. Mm -hmm. What does she do run? ¿Qué hace corriendo? Sí, está bien. Ya el running va. Sí, vale. sí, ya el running va. Ya no tiene. Recuerden que. Thank you, my Are correct. All right. Están correctos. Recuerden que tenemos. Una hay una diferencia entre el ing, que sería el present continuous, el presente continuo. Ese siempre lo van a diferenciar porque no lo han visto todavía, creo yo. Right. Estoy adelantando aquí. Ese lleva el verb to be. Ese tiene el verb to be y esa es su característica. Por eso se sabe que es continuous. Y luego tenemos los gerunds, que, los pode que podemos hacer uso de los gerunds en el simple present, right? los gerundios. Como no llevan el, el am, is, are, no son present continuous, sino que son here, right? Excellent. Do I have another participant? No? Okay, let me choose. Alexis Hurtado, please. Why does he drive? Why does he drive his car so fast at night? Uh, where do they usually go swimming? All right, excellent. Ya ve, Alexis, está excelente. Y usted no me las quería decir. Very good. Let's go with another friend. Oh, I have two hands. Let me go with Marvin. Mayrene, no sé si es que quiere participar de regreso o solo no bajo la manita. All right. You let me know. Action, Marvin. Okay. Uh, what, do, what does the dog do in the house? Uh, what do my brother in the What does my brother in the factory? Mm -hmm. y... What do you do? What do you do? Excellent. Very good. Simple as that. Clever and simple, right? Very good. Now, you guys, let me check. Let me go with Juan Jose Pineda, please. Okay. Where does he book and pencil? What do you call a car? La última, please. Once again, una vez más. What do you call a Car. Yo tengo dudas porque estoy como preguntando algo. ¿Qué, ¿Qué quiere preguntar ahí? ¿De qué color es tu carro? Ah, what color is your car? Ah. Uh -huh. Alright. Solo que ahí, si sí está correcta, right? Si sí lo puedo utilizar. What color is your car? Eh, solo que no estamos utilizando el do y el does, pero también es simple sí. present. Así que está bien. Alright. Okay. As long as you know how to work with do and does, mientras sepan cómo trabajar con el do and does, no problem, right? No problema. 
Now, everybody, let's move on to a conversation. That's exciting, you guys. I need you to be awake. Necesito que todos estén bien despiertos aquí, all right? Tenemos una serie de vocabulary que puede llegar a costarnos si no prestamos attention. So let's see. That's exciting, all right? Emocionante, eso es emocionante, all right? So let's check. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. All right, miren, aquí ya es una, esta ya está en present continuous, all right? I am or I'm teaching, porque tiene el verb to be. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. High school, no high school, high school. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. Cuando ella dice terrific, no significa que los estudiantes son horripilantes o, o malos, right? <laughs> Sino que terrific, ellos lo utilizan como algo positivo. Oh, that's terrific. That dress is terrific. Ese vestido. Estupendo, right? O esa persona, increíble. Para ellos, eso es terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now. You know? En la conversation, esta oración suena, I'm a firefighter now, you know? Right? Ellos lo unen, pero aquí tenemos una coma y ustedes pueden hacer uso de la coma. That's exciting. Yes, but it's very stressful job. It's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Palabras difíciles. <laughs> Exciting. Firefighters. O oh, firefighter. Very stressful. A stressful is estresante, right? El top de lo estresante. Dangerous. Peligros. Dangerous. Right? The calco says words porque son más difíciles. Now you've got your time. I want to just talk about that. A ustedes. Let's start with Beatriz Campos. You are Stephanie. And Juan Jose Pineda, you are Richard. Action. Okay. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you will have a new job. Where is my Stephanie? <laughs> Let me check. It was with Beatriz Campos, right? All right. Hello. 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 You are Stephanie. Yes. Stephanie. Yes, I I teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are you think with you? No, not bad. Um, fire finger now. You know? That exiting. Yes, but it is very stressful job. And um, sometimes in dynasty. dynasty. Dangerous. Repeat wow. after me, sir. Dangerous. 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 Very good. Thank you, guys. Now, I repeat again these words. Hago una repetición más de estas palabras para todos, right? No se preocupen si les cuestan, es normal, right? They are, son palabras que quizás nunca las habíamos escuchado, right? En el caso de ustedes que son learners. Exciting. Exciting. A stressful. A stressful. Dangerous, dangerous, all right? Let's go with somebody else. Let me have Emma Rodriguez. You are Stephanie. And Alexis Balmore, you are <coughs> action. Hey, Stephanie. I heard, I heard you have the new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? No, bad. I am fireful now, you know. 
That's exciting. Yes, but uh, but it's a very straightforward job and something is dangerous. Excellent, very good job, guys. Excellent. Let me go with Marvin Soriano. You are Richard, Cecilia Romero. You are Stephanie, action. Okay. Okay. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching maths at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It is great. The students are terrific. How are they? What do? Not bad. I'm firefighter now. You know. That's exciting. Yes. But it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, guys. Cecilia, repeat after me. It's straight. It, it's great. Great. Excellent. Great. Okay. Very good. Justamente así. Let's go with Yesenia Vasquez. You are Stephanie Nestor Amilcar. You are Richard. Action. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am teaching Matt at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? No bad. I'm firefighter now. You know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Excellent, very good, you guys. That's fluency. Me gustó mucho cómo fluye esa conversation. Very Thank good. Thank you. Now, you guys, uh, Yesenia, repeat after me. Exciting. Exciting. Uh -huh, exactly, exciting. Solo eso. Very good. Now, let me go with Kimberly Elena. You are Stephanie. Um, let me look for a boy. I don't have boys. Yes, Rene. I think Rene is somewhere. Déjeme ver si está Rene por aquí. Yes. Yes, okay, excellent, Rene. Very good. Es que a veces se me pierden if we went, all right? Solo voy a hacer un comentario, everybody. Aquí, the students are terrific, all right? No olviden, terrific. Si ustedes me dicen terrified, es otra palabra y ahí me están diciendo que los estudiantes están horrorizados de ustedes, all right? Y no es así. Entonces, aquí es terrific, all right? Excellent. Let's go with Kimberly and Rene. Action. Hey, Stephanie. I heard you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? No, but I am fighting. Fire is filter, no, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's very stressful, a stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. Oh, excellent. Very good, you guys. I'm most of everything impressed. Soy bien impresionada, right? Que ahorita nadie me ha hecho job aquí. Sí, ya me ha pasado que me dicen hobby y ustedes lo están pronunciando perfecto. Job, all right? Job. That's the correct one. Okay. Very you. good. You're welcome, sir. Now, let me go with Alexis Hurtado. ¿Usted ya pasó, Alexis? No, miss. No, okay. You're going to be Richard and Cecilia <coughs> Rodriguez. You are Stephanie. Action. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am teaching math at Lincoln School. Who, uh, how do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. The young parent, 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 fighter, now, to not. That's exciting. 
Yes, but it's a very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Excellent, very good. The same rhythm, very good. Vamos bien, everyone. Se nota que todos han practicado, excellent. Now, let me have my friend, Mayrene. You are Stephanie, usted va a ser Stephanie, and Mayra, you are Richard. Usted va a ser Richard, action. Hey, Stephanie, I heard you have a new job. How do you like it? You're Stephanie, my name. Yes, I'm oh, teaching. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, I'm te I teaching, teaching. My, sorry, yes, I'm teaching my at Lincoln School, high school. How do you like it? It's great. The studying are terrific. How are things with you? No, but I am fine now. You know. That's excellent. Exciting. Exciting. Exciting, sorry. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very a very stressful uh, job. Um, some style is dangerous. Bravo, excellent. Thank you, girls. Very good job. Now, my friends, let's move on. Ahora sí, nos movemos. Me urgía que esta conversation todos, o la, por lo menos la mayoría la practicaran aquí por el vocabulario complicado que tiene. Catherine, do you want to ask something? Or you want no, to practice? No, no. Sí, pero ya no, ni modo. No, 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 today. <laughs> All right, let me look for it. Déjeme le busco a alguien para que participe. Let me check. Creo que nos falta Raquel Santos, right? Entonces, Catherine, usted va a ser Richard. Raquel Santos, you are Stephanie. Action. Your microphone, Catherine. Se le apagó. Uy. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I am by fire now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but, uh, but it's a very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Excellent, bravo, very good. Now you see it, guys, excellent. Now let's move on, my friends. Ahora sí, nos movemos over here. Give me one sec. All right, everybody, let's move on. Let's check. We have B plus objective and we have objective plus noun, all right? Cuando dice be, se refiere al verb to be, que ustedes ya lo conocen, right? Am, um, is, are. Entonces tenemos los examples. A firefighters, tenemos una S, pronunciamos esa S, porque este es el posesivo, right? Si yo digo a firefighter job, uno no suena bien y dos no le estoy dando eh, la posesión que él merece, right? Es decir, que el trabajo es de él. A firefighter's job is dangerous. A doctor's job is stressful. Adjective plus noun. A firefighter has a dangerous job, right? Ya aquí ya no le pongo la S, es más tranquilo. A doctor has a stressful job, right? En uno estoy diciendo, estoy utilizando el possessive, right? A firefighter job is dangerous. El trabajo de un bombero es peligroso, right? Y aquí estoy diciendo, a firefighter has a dangerous job. Un bombero tiene un trabajo peligroso, right? Es diferente. Now, everybody, aquí no está la estructura. Ya se las voy a poner yo porque esa la tienen en el video y también la traen aquí. Pero sí voy a necesitar que at least two people practice in this part. Carla Abrego, tell me the sentences with B plus adjective. Eh, la B plus adjective me dijo, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh, es la más difícil. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, my friend. A fare fare job is a dangerous. A doctor's job is a stressful. Excellent, very good. Ya ve, Carlita, solo con firefighters cuesta, pero ya con doctors no, right? Es que la primera está terrible. <laughs> Terrific. All right, no, no se pronuncia así. Excellent, very good, Carlita. Thank you. Now, let me go with Alexis Hurtado. Adjective plus now, please. Uh, Fares, 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 oh, Miss, yes. okay. Fares, Fares has a dangerous job. A doctor has a stressful job. Exactly, sir, that's correct. Emma, tell me B plus adjective. Okay. A firefighter's job is dangerous. Dangerous. Mm -hmm. A doctor's job is stressful. That's correct. Catherine Pamela, adjective plus noun, please. Opening parenthesis. Adjective plus noun. A firefighter has a dangerous job and a doctor has a stressful job. That's correct. Excellent. Let's move on to the guiding structure. Esto, mis amigos, es pan caliente, all right? Esta es la estructura que van a necesitar, guys. Article. Cuando dice article, nos referimos al a o al an, right? Article a or an plus profession plus s. La s es del possessive, ya sabemos, right? Doctors, nurses. No es que sea de plural, es del possessive. Nurses, um, pilots, right? Plus verb to be, plus adjective, right? Esa es la structure que tenemos. Let me check. Cecilia Romero, tell me the guiding structure, please. Dígame la estructura. Okay. Artery, a, or, an, plus profession, plus ¿Cómo es que se S. dice? Ah, es. Es, ajá. Es plus verb to be plus adjective. Excelente. Solamente que esta es, amiga Cecilia, es del possessive, Postro. right? Ajá. Es del possessive. Posse. Cuando decimos apostrophe es. Apostrophe. Ajá. Apostrophe es apostrophe en inglés, right? Entonces, okay. al decir apostrophe es, se entiende que es el possessive. Very ah, good. Okay. Okay. Then we have the adjectives. Aquí abajo tienen los adjectives. Tenemos boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. Traducidos. Aburrido, fácil, peligroso, emocionante, difícil y estresante. Right? Those are the adjectives. Let me know when you're finished copying. Me avisan cuando terminen de copiar para mover. All right, finish. Excellent. Thank you, Kimberly. All right, everybody. Guiding examples. Unos ejemplos pequeños solo son dos, right? Pero para que ustedes se guíen, creo que también les puede funcionar. Mayra, tell me the examples, please. Me lee los ejemplos, Mayra. Uh, lawyer's job is hard. Uh, Waiter's job is difficult. That's correct. Excellent, right? Hard, duro. Hard, literalmente, eso significa duro. El trabajo de un abogado es duro. Y el trabajo de un mesero es difícil. All right? What are you going to do next? ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora, guys? Let's pay attention. Practice time. Juan José Pineda, tell me the instructions, please. ¿Me lee las instrucciones? Sí. Practice time. Number one. Sentencing using the structure B plus adjective. 
three and number two as question is needed. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Very good job. Ask questions if needed. All right. ¿Qué van a hacer ustedes? Two sentences. Solo dos oraciones. Utilizando la estructura que ya les planteé over there. All right. Over here. La estructura que acaban de copiar, que ya tienen en sus cuadernitos. Utilizando esa estructura, me crean dos oraciones. Voy a dejar los ejemplos aquí, por cualquier cosa. Have you finished, Marvin, or you have a question? Finished, teacher. Excellent. Tell me your sentences, please. Okay. First sentence, uh, soldier's job is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Second sentence, uh, pilot's job is exciting. Exciting, all right, very good. Yes, exciting and dangerous. All right, thank you, Marvin. Finished, teacher. Excelente, Emma. Let's go with Cecilia Romero and after <coughs> Cecilia. Okay. A police officer's job is dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, a teacher's job is stressful. <laughs> yes, it's right. <laughs> Excellent, Cecilia. Very good. Okay. Let's go with Emma. Ahora sí, Emita. I'm sorry. <laughs> a nurse. Ahí sería, teacher, a nurses. O a nurse. A nurses. A nurses. A nurses job is hard. Y a doctor's job is difficult. Difficult. All right. It's true. Imagine. You have to spend like eight years studying. Son como ocho años de estudio, right? And then you gotta work. <laughs> y otros más años trabajando, right? It's difficult. Now, let's go. Do I have another volunteer? Alguien más que ya finalizó? Ajá, Carla Abrego and after Carla, Yesenia. Action, Carla. Uh, singers, Joe. Is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. A cook's job is tired. It's tired. It's true. Excellent, Carlita. Action, Yesenia. Your microphone, Yesenia. Perdón. No work. An auditor's activities are exciting. A nurse's job is interesting. Interesting. Very good. Interesting. Very good, Yesenia. Clever sentences. Let's go with Mayra. You are the last. A nurse's job, a nurse job is stressful. A pilot's job is difficult. Ah, exactly. Thank you, Mayra. Solo que a nurse le puedo agregar la S. A nurse's job is stressful. And Nerio, you're the last one, Nerio. Con usted finalizamos. Uh, architect's job is creative. And a guitar's job is exciting and funny. Excellent. Very good. Clever sentences, too. All right, everybody. Excellent job, right? Hasta ahorita los que me han entregado sus sentences están perfectos. All right. Y espero que los demás también las tengan ya hechas y eso les facilite un poco la comprensión de esa estructura. Tomorrow's class. Para mañana vamos a ver otra estructura, un reading por ahí que tenemos 
Y luego el midterm exam, all right? Vamos a hacer el midterm exam. Si ustedes pueden avanzar ahora en la noche, perfect for you. Perfecto para ustedes. Pero si no, mañana lo vamos a trabajar. All right, everybody. Okay. That has been all for today's class. See you and tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.